Hello, this is Chris Harold with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at the most popular objects in VBA. And specifically, we're going to be looking at the range. We're going to be looking at the worksheet and the workbook. Uh, it's common when you start coding, you've got to figure out, well, one, why would I use, why would I set these set these objects? Um, or like you would with a variable, make those variables equal to something. And I'll kind of show you why that is. Uh, and then the other thing is, what's the difference between using equals and you using set? So I've got some code open here. You can go to your Visual Basic Editor. If you hit the Developer tab, click on uh, Developer. It's going to open it up. Here is my code. And these are the most popular objects that you're going to have. The one is the range. Two is the worksheet. Um, third is, is the workbook. Now you'll notice um, that we don't use equal. Now if you've, set, if you've used variables or arrays, you use the equal sign. Um, and the reason that you can use the equal sign is you're basically pulling out just a small data set, a small set of data, and you're putting that data into that single thing, and you'd use the equal sign. Well, a range has, a, has columns, it has rows, it has colors, it has fonts, it has all these different objects, so you can't necessarily set that entire object equal to something, and so you use set. Um, the most popular, the most, the most, um, in my opinion, the reason you use, you declare these variables is because once you've declared them, you have access to IntelliSense. And IntelliSense is, is when you put that period after you use that object, after you set that object, it gives you all the IntelliSense that you're going to need. So you've got all these different events, op, uh, methods and properties that you can use and it makes it significantly easier to code. That is honestly the reason why most of the time I actually use these. And so you would um, go rng.set or select and we would be good to go. Um, the same is true for worksheet. Um, in these cases we're just declaring the range equal to the active cell which is the cell that you're on. Um, workbook is active sheet you could actually declare you could actually set that equal to any of these sheets that are open and workbook just this workbook so that is really kind of a, a just a quick quick overview of the most popular objects I want to show you something really quick kind of like a, a cheat sheet here um, and that is the object browser so if you hit F2 um, or open up the object browser it's going to give you a list of all of the properties um, uh, events and all of the different things that you can do for a specific thing. So if we type in range and we scroll down to uh, we're going to just pick one of these. We're going to pick a I'm going to go to VBA do all libraries and you'll notice that when I select range it gives me all of these different items. So if you ever run into issues with um, with Excel or you're trying to figure out what your syntax is, you can use this object browser to identify kind of what you're trying to figure out or what you're trying to get at. Let's come down here to range. Should be alphabetized. Let's do by class. We're gonna. What I'm trying to do. is come down here and show you specifically what that range object would look like. Let's do cells. So come down here, we've got cells, we've got our range, um, you've got the member, and you've got all the different things that you can do. And if you want to figure out what the syntax is, you just double click on this and it's going to tell you what that syntax is. So if you want to use cells auto fit, there really isn't a whole lot to it, but if you want to do borders around, there's a whole bunch, right? So you have the the line style, the weight, the color, etc. So that's just kind of a just a quick tip there. Hope this is helpful. Make sure that you've subscribed to the Everyday VBA channel, as well as if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave those. If you like this video, please like it. Hope you enjoyed.